is hell eternal? Uh, many Muslim writers uh, would say because that's uh, the word in the Quran. Um, that's how the Quran puts it. These will live in hell forever or in heaven forever, whichever the case. Some Muslim scholars, I would say, that hell is not eternal. And there are some great names and Muslim scholars who maintain that. And that eventually all those who have been thrown into hell will be brought out of it once they have uh, uh, completed the necessary terms and they'll be placed in heaven. And they cite the Quranic words that I cited earlier, uh, my mercy extends over everything, or covers everything. And they say this should be applied to um, the notion of the eternity of hell. So that becomes a metaphorical eternity. It's for purposes of emphasis, whereas uh, in the case of heaven, it is uh, real eternity. Heaven. What kind of a li what kind of life? Well, once again, we have no experience of it. It's a life of uh, <coughs> pleasure, delight, joy. Um, but there are some indications in the Quran that some growth and uh, progress is possible within that life. In fact, a modern uh, Muslim poet thinker, I mentioned his name to you, Muhammad Iqbal, the other day. And I said to you, don't ask me about him because I need the slightest excuse to go off a tangent and talk about him. Since you haven't asked me, so I must try to excuse myself too. He is a fantastic poet. No one like him in all of human history. And I stand by that claim. <laughs> Read him and you will be enthralled and you will have an experience the like of which you never have had and never will. That of course is to promote myself also because uh, I deal with his works. He has a poem, the Huri and the Poet. The poet is about himself and he imagines that he, is, uh, he has arrived in paradise. But he is um, not happy. He is despondent. And there is the Huri waiting for him and she waits for some time and then she and he doesn't talk at all and she says to him um, hey what's the matter with you it's a persian poem number baade mail dari number man nazar kushai aja bin ke tu nadani raho rasmi ashnai you're not stretching your hand to grab the cup of wine and you're not even looking at me what's wrong with you you have no social etiquette <laughs> You don't know how to talk to people in company? And Iqbal says, uh, very dejected, he says, um, I know I have arrived in paradise, but you know, paradise is a place of perfection. And perfection means uh, no more change, no chance of improvement. And I hate such a place. I would like to be in a place where there's always something more to do. He says, my philosophy is ze sharar sitare giram, ze sitare aftabe. From the spark, uh, I seek um, a star. From the star, I seek um, the sun. Ze sitare, uh, ze sharar sitare juyam, ze sitare aftabe. I, 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 I have no desire to arrive at a destination because if I do so, I will die. So paradise is not the place for me. <laughs>